Hello dear learners. Uh, today we are going to discuss a new topic that is the classification of feedstock. How the feedstocks are important when we are rearing the various livestock animals such as cattle, sheep, goat, buffalo, poultry or pig. So in that case, it becomes very essential to provide them a nutritious feed material. Because they, whatever the product that we are getting, from all these livestock animals, all the uh, all it is depends on the what type of the food material, feed material we are providing to them. So in this lecture, uh, we uh, we will discuss about the feeds and the products. Okay, so term feeds and products include all such material which can be used for feeding of livestock. So whatever we are using to feed such a livestock, so all those materials are called as feeds and products. These feeds and products are generally grouped or class on the basis of the bulkiness and chemical composition of the feed material. It is common it is common to say that the every feed material has their self identity in their composition. Each feed material has the different nutritive value. Okay, so it means that the all the feed materials are not alike. In practical feeding, substitution of one feeding stuff is made with another depending upon the market price and availability in a particular region. It is said that about 75% the uh, cost is generally spent on the feeds and products. So, if we want to get the more profit, then it, it becomes very essential to reduce the cost on feeds and products. But we we can adjust the cost on feeds and products but we can't adjust or reduce the nutritive value of feeds and products by doing such so therefore we have to make the feeds and products by reducing the cost and by increasing the nutritive value or by maintaining the same nutritive value in that the final product. Therefore, it is necessary to know the uh, categories of the feeds within which the substitutions are justified for the feeds having the similar nutritional property. Therefore, we have to know the properties of all the fields and the products. If the one field material is having the same nutritive value, but that is uh, that is very costly, and the other field material, which is also having the same nutritive value like this, but is having the low cost as compared to the previous one. 
so in that case or by this way we may select a cheaper employees feeds and fodders for the feeding the livestock but we can't compromise the nutritive value with respect to the cost of that feeds and fodders okay so we have to compromise on the cost of feeds and fodders but we we cannot or we can't compromise with the nutritive value of feeds and fodder therefore uh, it becomes necessary to have a uh, knowledge of all the feeds and fodder in terms of nutritive value or in terms of nutritional property of all the feeds and fodder so in this lecture we are going to discuss in detail about the nutritive value of feeds and fodder the classification of feeds and fodder so we can easily substitute the low cost feeds and fodder instead of the high cost feeds and fodder so let's see so uh, let's see the importance of the feed stock as i told you earlier uh, in previous slides i have already given you some importance of the feed stock why the feed stock uh, play a very important role it keeps the animal in good health and improves the reproductive efficiency as i told you earlier the uh, when uh, when we are taking the production from such a animal those animal should be a healthier one and to increase their productivity or uh, to increase their reproductive efficiency it becomes necessary or essential to uh, provide them a good food stuff okay so the food stuff helps to improve the good health or to improve the rep reproductive efficiency of the livestock it is palatable and easy for digestion so the feed stuffs are the very palatable and they uh, they digest very easily also uh, the feed stuff helps to uh, reduce the body temperature so it means that they maintain a particular temperature it is mild laxative hence the prevents the constipation constipation is the main problem of uh, a dairy animal so uh, the first step helps to enhance uh, the first steps uh, they are the, the first steps are the ma mild laxative and hence they prevent the constipation then it uh, provides the fresh nutrients in their natural form so what you, uh, whatever uh, the nutrients are present in natural form in the feed stuff the same nutrients are generally provided uh, to all those animals uh, by or from the feed stuffs to the animals it uh, uh, doesn't put any stress on body or organ and leads to efficient utilization of food nutrients so uh, this this food stuff generally it doesn't put uh, any uh, stress on the body or the organs of the animal so uh, and leads to efficient utilization of food nutrients whatever the profit nutrients are present in that uh, food stuff though uh, all those are generally utilized efficient so these are the importance of the food stuff uh, this is the uh, classification of the food stuff the generally uh, the food stuff are classified in four different classes 
number one is the erratages. Number second is the concentrates. Number third is the heat supplements. And the number four is the Let's see the meaning of uh, each class of heat stuff. Number one is the erratages. Refugees are the feedstuff uh, which contain more than 18% crude fiber. Just we have to keep in mind, uh, it, it means that uh, refugees are those feedstuffs which generally contain uh, more than 18% crude fiber and less than 60% total digestible nutrients. Just to, we have to keep in mind that. Uh, what do you mean by the refugees? Refugees means the feedstuffs which uh, contains more than uh, the feedstuff which contains more than 18% of the crude fiber and less than 60% of total digestible nutrients are called as the refugees. So we have to keep it in mind the crude fiber 18% more than digestible nutrients less than 60 percent so less than less than 60 percent more than 18 percent more than 80 percent of the crude fiber and the less than 60 percent total digestible and nutrients and all those all those feedstuffs are called the refugees means uh, the feedstuff which contains the more than 8 percent 18 percent crude fiber and less than 60% total lysine nutrient, all the step four stops, fit stops are called as the refugees. Due to the higher crude fiber content, as we have seen that, it contains more than 18% of the crude fiber. Due to the higher crude fiber content, they are more bulky and have a low digestibility as compared to the concentrate. When we compare the refugees with the concentrates. So, uh, we find that they, this refugees has more bulky and low digestibility as compared to the concentrates. The different examples of the refugees are, uh, what is the use of all these refugees? Maintenance type containing uh, 3 to 5 percent of the DCP in digestible crude proteins, for example, green maize and oats. If uh, we are providing the green maize uh, and oats to the animals, so green maize and oats are generally considered as the maintenance type, okay, and it contains means the green maize. Green maize and oat generally contain 3 to 5 percent of the digestible crude proteins. Non maintenance type straw and the kadhi, which contains less than 3 percent digestible crude proteins. Means uh, if we are uh, giving or providing the straw or kadhi to the animals, just we have to keep it in mind. This uh, this uh, straw or kadhi just contains the three percent of the uh, three percent digestible crude proteins. Production type: If we are providing uh, the bursin, lucerne, such a type of the feedstuffs to the animals, so all those uh, are generally falls under the group of the production type ration, which contains more than. 5% DCP digestible proteins means if we are providing the versin and lucerne to the animal, so this versin and lucerne generally contains the uh, more than 5% of digestible crude proteins. The refugees are further considered in two, ma uh, two major groups. These refugees are generally uh, again classified into two major groups. One is the uh, green refugees and second one is the dry Refugees. So, we will see in detail about the green or succulent refugees and dry refugees in our coming lecture. So, till today, thank you very much.